Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mushroom, bringing you guys another video. I apologize for the noise that's going on down the street. They're actually doing some roof work to somebody's house. And also, I got my wisdom teeth pulled, so if my face looks a little puffy, and I shaved my facial hair for the wisdom teeth pulling. But besides that, I want to talk to you guys about this bike right here that you're going to see in this video. So shout out to bros250.com. They ended up sending me out the Peace Moto XB87, which is a beautiful bike, as you guys can tell. Um, I'm going to unbox it for you guys, build it, and basically break down the bike for you guys. Again, the website is bros250.com on screen. Also, a link in the description below. And this is the Peace Moto XB87. It's a very, very sexy bike. With that being said, let's get into the video. What's going on guys? In today's video we have another unboxing. We haven't done something like this in a long time, but we do have another bike. I think we've done like three, four, maybe five unboxings on the channel. And here we have another one thanks to Peace Moto sending over a dirt bike for us to review for you guys. So they, they, they're saying their bike is up to compete with the Apollo and the Teo Teo, the two biggest brand Chinese bikes. I've seen it. It looks good. We're gonna take it apart and see how it is. So far, already, the shipping on them, they're just way more reliable as a company. Like, they actually respond to your things. They actually ship it on time. Um, I know those Chinese websites took like two weeks just for them to get the order shipped out. And then once it shipped, it took like three weeks depending on how far you live. It was a headache. It took over a month to get your item after the date you ordered it. So this one was a lot quicker. I think we talked on Monday last week and it's now Monday this week and I have it here. I got it yesterday. I was supposed to get it Saturday, but the driver had some issues so that's not their fault that's the shipping's fault and then Sunday it came so late so I couldn't put it together it was too dark which it's gonna get dark out actually pretty soon so we're gonna have to we're gonna end up having to work on this in the garage at night but I already know how to put these things together so let's start doing it right now but first let me show you what the box comes with so here you have the actual bike right here. Then you got the big old dirt bike sign, so make sure that if you do get this, somebody is home so that way nobody steals it or tries to come up on it, because I know that some people like to get it shipped over to their house, leave it in the driveway. If this is left in the driveway and it says dirt bike, it could be stolen, so just be careful, make sure someone's home. Um, the model is the XP125 T87. I'll have all the stuff in the description below. I'm just showing you guys the box right now, and then we're gonna lift it up. Um, I think that's pretty much it, just says dirt bike, and then the, the picture of the actual Bike. But taking the box off, the normal frame that we're used to putting stuff together with, and basically we already know how to take these frames off. We just gotta unbolt a few bolts. It looks like, yeah, the bolts down here at the bottom, so we know how to take these frames off. It's just these ones going all the way across. Then we're gonna end up lifting this metal frame up and lifting it out of the way, and then we'll take everything apart and work from there. Take this off. So first thing we're gonna do is just remove everything that's on the frame so that way we can uh just lift it up which means these things up here take these off take that actually we can leave that there we can just cut these off take that off take that off and then i think that's it the only thing is the handlebars at the top um nothing else is connected to the frame so these just get some screws screw it down and then take that off and then we'll, we'll take the frame off after that.
So as you guys saw from the chest, I don't know how good this chest mount is, but we ended up taking everything off. We got the cage off, we got all the extra parts off including like the graphics and stuff the the fenders and stuff the side panels and the tire the front tire so now all we got to do is lift the bike up get it off the frame and i want to get it on that this thing right here so that way it makes it easier to set up for the front tire and one thing that i like about this company is this part right here the fork is already installed into it the tail tail and the apollo the rfc and the other 007 this didn't come in it so i had to do it myself and it looks like one two three Four, five, six. So they have every freaking bolt that needs to be on it, on it, which is good. Those bikes, they're missing one. So if you guys look here, you'll end up seeing that one of them's missing just because the company didn't send it in or something like that. They just forgot a piece or something. So far, everything that needs to be there is there. So we're gonna get this bike off of it and then put it on that and then we'll show you how to do the front tire. It's very simple so far as you guys can tell. It's the easiest thing ever to put these things together. That was probably the hardest part of the whole thing, but it's not even that hard. I forgot to unclip this one right here that was holding the rear tire in. But now that it's up, this is going to be the easiest part, which is putting the tire on, putting the rear sh uh, shock on, which looks like it's already here. We just have to bolt it in. It's kind of hard to see because of the lighting, but as you see the bolt that's already on the shock, we just put that in down in there very simple that's going to be good to go cut these foot pegs down so they sh they're not supported here no more get the front tire on and then the handlebars and then after that we, we should be good this bike is sexy man i'm not even gonna lie it's a nice looking bike so let's go ahead and put that on right now So as you guys saw, I just finished putting it together. This is the Peace Moto XB87. It is a pretty sexy bike. I'm not gonna lie, I've even had friends come over and look at it, and they all even agree with me saying that this bike looks really, really nice. It compares with the RFZ that a lot of people were talking about. Now again, the RFZ, my friend has freaking custom side panels, so it looks sexy just with the side panels because it's got the Red Bull sign on it. It's custom and stuff like that. But this bike stock already looks pretty good man like i things that i do like about it i'll be straight up with you guys i love the black engine just because this one right here the tail tail over there has like a silver engine it doesn't look as clean i love the color of the engine i love how this is black this is black i love how the exhaust pipe is black if you guys know on my last bike i tried to paint that black so i heat wrapped it with black um the exhaust right here the muffler is black it looks really nice the, the seat, the seat is really high quality, like it's actual leather. It's not like like these seats right here where it's a weird uh, fabric 
fabric leather or something like that. I don't know how to explain it. It's just this this is actual leather that you would actually find like in a car. So it's actually really nice plastic gas tank just like this one which again is lighter and you won't find rust or anything like that parts all came on it so it looks really good the kill switch looks pro and then also another thing is the gears so you guys know all these chinese bikes have gears of one two three four going up this one is like a real bike it has one down and then th two three and four going up which is really really good the reason it's good is because it's just it gets you used to a real bike it feels like a real bike it's not like the chinese bike where you're used to it but it just gets you prepared. So it's a very good starter bike if you guys want a bike to learn on and stuff like that. This bike is very cheap, but so far the quality of the bike actually feels better than the other bikes. Another thing that I really like about it is the Kickstarter. It actually locks into place. So if you push it back, you can hear it lock into place. So that's a very good quality thing. So the bike's just in better quality than these other Teo Teo and Apollo bikes that we have in the garage, which is a really good thing. I mean, the bike just feels like it's better quality. It, it literally started first kick when I got it. I, I haven't changed the oil yet, which is the first thing I'm gonna do. You guys are gonna wanna change it, but it started first kick very easy. Another good thing that this bike comes with, I didn't show you in the unboxing, but it comes with a tool kit. It comes with this uh, important starting instruction, please read which is very, very important because it tells you exactly what you need to do before you actually start the bike up, which includes stuff like uh, fill the fuel tank with unleaded gasoline, turn the fuel valve on, the bike must be in neutral to kick start, uh, when starting cold engine, switch the choke. So it just gives you steps and also tells you breaking in steps down here at the bottom, which is really, really good. The other bikes didn't provide that. And then it also comes with a vehicle title. So most of these other Chinese bikes, and then of course a manual to the bike. But a lot of these other bikes did not come with a title. So these bikes are not under our name. There's no title or anything on it. So if it comes to like somebody stealing it or like selling it or DMV hitting you up, you don't have a title for those bikes. But this one actually comes with a title. So it's your bike when you buy it. These ones, there's no like insurance on it. Like if it gets stolen, the DMV can't do anything about it. But guys, with that being said, let's roll the montage of the bike. Check out the Peace Moto XB87 on bros250.com. Again, the link is in the description. Shout out to them for sending me this bike over to re review for you guys. I will be bringing more videos to the channel of this bike, so stay tuned if you guys want to see. The shipping is actually a lot cheaper too. Most of these shipping was like $200 or maybe even more. This one was only $50 to ship, which you're saving a lot of money on that. Check out the website, bros250.com. I will do more reviews on this bike later on on the channel. And I hope you guys enjoy.